Hello everybody, I am back with Jack and Alessio from River Horse Games. Today we are having a look at some of the stretch goals for the Hunger Games Mockingjay. So, uh, now hopefully the Kickstarter has been running, going crazy, busting through stretch goals, which is exactly what I see for this. Uh, we do have some of the miniatures in here from the stretch goals to have a look at. So, you may have already seen them, they may be, you know, just about to be unlocked, or, you know, maybe one or two away from being unlocked. If they are and you really like them, get in there and give it a bit of a push. So, uh, what all do we have to expand on the base game, guys? Uh, so the first thing we jump into is uh, mutts. Mutts. So these are these are mutts. They are uh, basically an extra unit for the the capital. Okay. Um, so in the base game, there are the resistance infantry and the and the peacekeepers, and those mm -hmm. are just sort of ordinary infantry. These guys are much nastier. So instead of the D8, they roll the D10, and basically harder to get. Mm. But and can't move on their own. Okay. They need to be carried via sort of hovercraft and, and things like that. Oh god, but they look they, nasty. Uh, yeah, they are nasty. <laughs> Bio weapons, effectively. Yeah. And, Genetically um, engineered monsters. <laughs> and uh, fun might be the wrong word, but the fun thing about them is sort of uh, they're not um, really brought into the game mm. in, in normal methods. They're using the sort of mission cards, bring mm. them in, and uh, usually that means that you need to suff have suffered casualties to right. bring them in, because of course they are made out of people. Oh, <laughs> okay. So um, so there's one that uh, basically for every casualty in a, in a mm. district, you put a mutt down. Ah. And that's casualty on either side, so oh. you can really sort of... Oh, so I could turn um, resistance people into this? Yes, mm. At, uh, and terrorise their yeah. friends and families. Like they, but, if um, I bring it up here, they are gribbly looking little guys. They are very tiny. So, not the character scale miniatures. Yeah, so they're the 15 scale. Yeah, but it's it's nice to actually have some, some additional different types of troops coming in in the stretch goals to actually add new dynamics as to how you can play and fight. Uh, what else do we have? Um, so, we also have a huge amount of the heroes from the, um, uh, from the movie, mm -hmm. or characters from the movie, that are added in as um, capital and resistant mm -hmm. heroes to um, sort of give you more choices about how you're going to how you're going to tackle the game and how you're going to uh, push forward. Okay, so at the start of the game, am I just picking one character to run with through the game, or mm. are there multiples running through? No, the, the game? characters. I mean, you you begin with uh, the the capital begins with already all of their heroes, while mm. the the resistance begins with fewer at the mm. time and keeps adding them because new new characters become available. They mm. turn to the resistance. They become famous. They do some heroics. That's like in, mm -hmm. in the in the in the book and in the series, and they become heroes effectively of the resistance. Mm -hmm. So. As you progress, the resistance. Where well, at the beginning, the the capital has the edge on propaganda, mm -hmm. and then as you as you progress in the game, then the, the resistance gets better and better and better, mm -hmm. and their and their their missions get more effective, get more of them. Mm -hmm. So the, the 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 balance twist is basically is wishes to the to the resistance very quickly, mm -hmm. and indeed we have this fantastic chance of adding all the characters from the from the movie, which is you know, fantastic. I mean, it was a game by, by Gigi Terza. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, who do we have for the capital? Very quickly, if you pass them across, <laughs> I'll, I'll let people get a quick look at them. Uh, sure thing. So this is Ijiri, um, Caesar Flickerman. Good start. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Caesar Flickerman. He's sort of the um, uh, the spin man for the capital. Yeah. Uh, so very high propaganda, sort of manages to turn everything into a victory for the capital, whether it was a... Mm -hmm. Terrifying defeat or not. Um, <laughs> then? then we have Egeria, so she's sort of the uh, Snow's right hand woman. Mm -hmm. um, sort of quite a well rounded, does uh, a bit of everything. Yeah, Intel in, specialist, Intel. isn't it? Um, so those, those two sort mm -hmm. of support, support Snow, mm -hmm. and uh, so you'll notice. Only three for the capital, yeah. and then a million for the uh, for the <laughs> resistance. So, well, no, 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 a million's what we're, we're hoping the Kickstarter's going to yeah. have. <laughs> okay, um, so who do we have here? Uh, so this is Peter, ah. um, love interest number one. Yes. And, um, so as he was seen in Mockingjay uh, at part one and two in his mm -hmm. um, star's sort of armour. Yeah. Now, I do have to wonder, if we're staying true to the movie, will he begin the game perhaps with the capital and then move to Resistance, <laughs> or is that something we haven't experimented um, with yet? He was never with... The capital. Ish. It was being manipulated. I uh, never quite wanted to. He was on TV. He was saying good things about them. I swear he was with them. <laughs> yeah, but they made him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they made Damn. him. There was originally a um, a card that was double mm. agent where you could basically force someone else's character to, as the capital, force yeah. someone else's character to sort of move off of a, mm. a mission as you uh, 
That do could your, be interesting. Your devious uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The evil pyramid of doom. But, um, uh, next, we have love interest number two, uh-huh. uh, Mr. Uh, Gail Hawthorne. Uh-huh. But, um, nice design with the crossbow. Uh, will this come as a multi-part, or will this be a single-part miniature? Single-part uh, PVC miniature. Yes. Mm. I like that design. I really like it. Now, what's he going to do in game for you? Is he just uh, so he's more the combat. Yeah, sort of side tactics, of things. tactics, tactics, isn't it? tactics mm, and intel. Yeah. He's stronger on, um, mm-hmm. not particularly fussed about propaganda and, and helping the. Uh, no. um, the propaganda, <laughs> obviously, the best there is in propaganda is clearly the, the Mockingjay herself. Yes, yes. yes, symbol of the resistance. Yes. But, um, uh, next up, next we have cycle on through. Yeah, uh, Plutarch Heavensby. Ooh, and, uh, really caught his his actual features really well on the sculpt. But, um, Again, this is something that you probably have to have a lot of fun with whenever you're actually sculpting an actor as a character, is capturing the, the flair and flavour of the actor. Yeah. Very, particularly at that scale. Mm. It's not easy. Yeah. And, um, so, what exactly is he going to do for us? Um, so, he's probably the most well-rounded of the, um, of the resistance, mm-hmm. um, and as a sort of leader, he mm. is um, fairly good at everything. Yes. Uh, so, he's good at sort of plugging the holes in your... Mm. In your um, plan. Mm-hmm. So it's qu- quite often good to have someone who can do anything in a pinch. Mm. Um, All right, uh, let's let's speed up a little. Give, yeah, me the, sure. give me the next two. Um, so this is BT Latia mm-hmm. and Finnick O'Dare. Okay, so but, let's um, quickly look at Finnick. What's he going to do for us? Um, so he's another sort of combatty uh, combatty fella. Mm-hmm. Um, Help the um, Katniss escape the uh, the Hunger Games, mm-hmm. uh, whereas BT is straight up intel. He's not really good at anything else, mm. but he knows what's going on. <laughs> yeah, again, but, um, looking really, really good for the the actual character from the character yeah. to the miniature. But, um, then we have Cressida, who uh-huh. is uh, a propaganda queen, but, uh, or I guess love princess. The <laughs> um, I love, love, love the design of this one, Tess. and I like the fact that all of the the gear and the armor feels regiment it as if it's all coming from the same source. Yeah, so this is when they are part of the sort of star squad as mm. they go out and sort of um, work towards mm. um, so creating these films to yes, yes, yes. propose to um, mm. forward the agenda of the resistance. Mm. So this is Al McCoyne, again um, a leader of the resistance, so fairly um, okay at everything, not mm. amazing at anything, um, able to sort of fill in the gaps of your mm. Uh, your plans. Yeah, and then the question I have is, how do these new characters join the resistance as you move through the game? Is there randomized events, or um, so are the there resistance points still come in? Starts with no characters mm. and gains two mm-hmm. every turn. Okay. So uh, if the capital survives to the sixth turn, mm. uh, they win. Right. Um, so the resistance basically gains two every turn. So at the end of the game, they'll have almost all of these these characters out, mm. and you choose which ones you uh, get. Nice. Yeah, th- that's the that's the element, isn't it? The choice is the interesting part because b- if you want to, I mean, the, the capital zeros are very powerful, but there's few of them. So you want to choose. It, it really depends which which way you want to go. You want to go towards propaganda. You mm. want to try to outwit them in tactics. So and there, that's where you choose which heroes to bring in. Yeah, you bring in specialists on one particular mission. Like you know, she is great at propaganda, mm. or would you bring in more you know more generic ones? So it, it's you will learn which missions need what kind of skills and how to tackle the the, the capitals. Yeah, we well, see. I, I look at it and I think it's very interesting that you can sort of pick counter complementing characters to actually defeat the capitals heroes and stuff. Mm. So interesting. So the capitals heroes are generally a bit sort of more powerful mm. to show their um, resources of course. and um, sort of and so fighting them on head on is quite hard mm. at the beginning especially you know you've got the you're on the back foot as the resistance mm. but uh, well uh, that's that's numbers. what the the name of the game is really <laughs> you know you are you're fighting a resistance against a well established well supplied high end society I mean, like, you're sitting in an old bombed-out shelter with uh, whatever gear you can, A, scavenge, steal, or loot, and then try and incite people to rebellion. It does feel very uphill as, mm. as the resistance. I mean, it, it sounds like an interesting fight to actually have to take on. I mean, I think if, if I get the chance, I do want to play the resistance at some point, just to, <laughs> just to see how it goes. Uh, we have two more characters. Who do we have? Uh, we have Box, uh, who is Combat King. Combat King, you said. Um, or Tactics King. Mm-hmm. And, um, 
So again, he's sort of part of the Star Squad. He uh, sort of le- leads it. He's the sort of only real soldier on it. Um, and uh, oh, only real soldier. Well, I've seen Katniss sure. do some. <laughs> well, sure. Sure. Oh yeah, sure. 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 she's a killer rather than a, <laughs> <laughs> a career. I don't think she's ever paid. <laughs> uh, lastly, then finally we have um, Hamish hey, Abernathy. Ah, my um, favourite. <laughs> yes, um, alcoholic, <laughs> anonymous. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's again fairly. Um, yeah, I think he's a bit better at tactics and mm. um, intel. Sort of, he's been around the block, knows what's happening. Mm. But, uh, well, I mean, look, it's it's nice to see that as these are being added into the Kickstarter, again, they may already be there, they may not, but it's nice to hear just how that's going to change up the tactics for both sides to actually have different options for actually, you know, giving yourself a boost or a buff here or there to actually change up how the game plays. Because this is a game you're not just going to want to sit down and play once. You're going to want to sit down and have a good bit of replayability to it, and I think these really, really are going to add that for you. There are some really tense moments when you know because these influence the missions. There are mm. some missions which are definitely more critical than others. I mean, there's particularly the mission where one of the one of the uh, districts actually disappears in a pile of radioactive oh, yeah. dust. You really want to remove everything. <laughs> you from really the want district. to stop. You want, really want to succeed in the mission to stop that from yeah. happening. <laughs> yeah, my friend Clyde, how about no? <laughs> All right, well, gentlemen, thank you very much for bringing it in. As always, I hope your Kickstarter does fantastically. I hope the game comes out and looks beautiful and people have tons and tons of fun with it. Everybody, drop your comments in below. Have you been thinking of jumping into the Hunger Games? Have you jumped in yourselves? Are you liking what you're seeing here with the ideas of adding extra tactical flexibility to the game? We'll move on. We will see you in the next one. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.